hi dear students and viewers in this video we are going to discuss about the relative motion in one dimension relative motion in one dimension along with the concept we are going to discuss about the some example problems some important models we are going to discuss in this video that's why you have to watch the video till end so here the thing is what is mean by relative motion what is mean by relative motion here very simple in general life for example it is a line if anybody can ask you say about this one simply you can say what it is it is a line and if you can have another line like this clear now two lines are there and how we how these two are lines then what you can say a is shorter than a is shorter and b is taller so when we have two we are comparing the heights comparing the heights so the comparison is nothing but a relative clear a car is moving faster than lorry a car is moving faster than lorry it means that what the motion of the car is explained with respect of motion of the lorry relative means we are comparing the particular physical quantity if you can compare the displacements now it is relative displacement if you can compare the velocities it is relative velocity if you can compare the acceleration that is relative acceleration relative is nothing but the physical quantity of one particular object can be compared with the another one that is a relative for example there are two friends some ramu and somu both friends are there among these two ramu is good boy ramu is good boy it means that what somu is not perfect ramu is good means what somu is not perfect so we are comparing the behavior of the ramu and somu that is the comparison so in the same aspect also the physical quantities such as displacement acceleration and velocity those are compared with the another quantities or another objects that is simply about the relative meaning clear so what is mean by relative motion the motion of the one body can be explained with respect of another one that should be what we call relative motion so what we know motion is relative for example here this is the one road clear and here one boy is just beside the road and he was at rest position he was at rest position and now a car is moving on the road so he was saying that person a can explain the the car is in motion the car is in motion if you can take the directions it is here something north and it is south and is it is east and this is west so according to this person the car is in motion the car is in motion why because he is at rest he is at rest so for example here we are having the some idea about the frame of reference what it is frame of reference a coordinate system a coordinate system that should be used to explain the position of the object that should be what we call frame of reference here we have to attach the one frame of reference to this one and we have to attach the one frame of reference so for example i am saying it is x dash y dash and z dash and it is like x y z so according to this first means what according to this first frame of reference the second frame is in moving in moving it means that what position of the car is changes with time position of the car changes with time so according to the person the car is in motion that means what we are explaining that the motion is relative what it is means here he is in race with respect to the person who is just beside the road according to him 
E is in rest and the car is in motion. Clear? So already know when we are traveling any vehicle or like bus, car, anything, train also. While the particular vehicle is moving in forward direction, the houses, the trees which are beside the road, they can move in backward. If the vehicle is moving in forward, all the houses, trees are moving back. But actually they are not moving. But we are in the moving, we are in the motion. With respect to us, they are also moving. So, this is a simply example for the to understand the relative motion. So, what is relative velocity and what is relative acceleration and what is relative displacement? Let's see. Here, for example, this is the origin. Origin. Two objects or two vehicles A and B. A and B. They are started their motion when time t is equals to zero. After some time t, the A is at this position and B is at this position. I am going to say the position of A is xA and the position of B is xB. Clear? So initially both are at the same origin. After time t seconds, their position should be like this. Then in this case, a relative displacement, a relative displacement. That should be written as XBA. XBA means what? A relative position. A relative position of B with respect to A. A relative displacement XBA is equal to what you can write here? Simply xb minus xa xb minus xa xba x is what position relative position of b we are comparing to what a xba is equals to xb minus xa in this case both are moving in same direction for example we are going to say this is the some 20 centimeters and this is now 80 centimeters or 80 meters water maybe then obviously what right here 80 minus 20 that is what 60 meters if you can take meters that should be written as meters if you can take this centimeters like centimeters so here relative to displacement or relate to displacement is nothing but what difference of their displacements difference of their displacements 80 minus 20 is what 60 meters 60 meters that is the what relative displacement and we know children rate of change of position what we call velocity rate of change of s v is equals to d by dt of x rate of change of displacement is what we call velocity in the same manner we will take here d by dt of we are going to write x b a x b a is equals to here we can write what d by dt of what we write here xb minus xa then we can write like this d by dt of xb minus d by dt of xa clear so d by dt of xb means what nothing but velocity of b velocity of b and uh, this is what velocity of a then this is what right here vba what is vba Velocity of B with respect of A. Velocity of B with respect to the A is what? VB minus VA. Simply, they change in their relative change in their velocities. VB minus VA. For example, to understand that, we are saying that car is moving with some speed of 120 meter per second. Car is moving with speed of 120 meter per second. And now in the same manner, in the same direction, the truck or lorry is, this is a truck and that should be moving with some velocity here now, 60 meter per second, 60 meter per second. So, obviously the car is moving faster than lorry. For example, I am going to say this is another car or another truck, we have to take that one. So, this is the truck now. So, what I am saying, 60 meter per second. 
60 meter per second. In this case, both are moving in same direction. So, if it is A and it is B, clear. So, if it is A and it is B, I am going to write here now V A B. V A B. What is V A B? Velocity of A with respect to B. That means what right here? V A minus V B. What is V A here? 120 and it is what is 60 so that is what it is 60 meter per second 60 meter per second so the car is moving 120 meter per second and truck is moving speed of 60 meter per second then their relative velocity is how much 60 meter per second so here when we are comparing the with respect of a we can write vba when we are comparing with respect of b what do we write va minus vb so in this way we can write the relative velocity relative velocity is nothing but difference of the velocities when both are moving in same direction that is that you have to remember and next thing is in the same way we can write the acceleration also what it is initially what we are taking x b x equals to x b minus x a and v b x equals to v b minus v a then obviously here I am going to write rate of change of velocity what we call acceleration rate of change of velocity what we call acceleration we know that so then obviously what right here d by dt of v b a is equals to what we write here d by dt of v b minus v a then obviously here that is what d by dt of v b means what a b and this is what a a and this is what a b a acceleration of b acceleration of b with respect of a then a b minus a a so here a b minus a a that is the relative acceleration so this is what relative displacement and this is what relative velocity and this is what expression for relative acceleration dear students there are some important points to remember regarding the relative motion or relative velocity the first thing is here number one when objects are in same directions objects are in same direction then relative velocity can be expressed as simply here for example object a it is there vehicle a it is there its velocity is v a and b is its velocity is v b then what you have to write v a b relative velocity of a with respect to b is what v a minus v b clear so when both are in same direction you can write v a b is equals to v a minus v b difference or what do you write here v b a is equals to v b minus v a that means what simply here v a b is equals to minus of v b a so you have to remove that is the first one when vehicles are in the same direction the relative velocity of one should be with respect of another is nothing but what it is difference of their velocities that is the first point you have to remember and second one when both vehicles are in opposite direction opposite direction then we can write for example it is now this is what first body moving with velocity v a and this is a another body that is moving its velocity some v b then relative velocity of a with respect of b can be written as here v a minus v b so what we take in v a is positive then v b is what negative then obviously here v a mi minus of minus plus v b therefore relative velocity of a with respect to b is what v a plus v b that is the you have to remember when both are in same direction we will take minus here when both are in opposite directions we will take plus and third one is here when both are perpendicular both are perpendicular to each other so for example v a is moving like this 
and velocity vb is like this then what did here vba or vab is nothing but what it is under root of v square a plus v square b that is the third point you have to remember this is the when same direction and this is the opposite and now when both velocities are in perpendicular to each other then the relative velocity of a with respect to b can be as under root of v square a plus v square b as per Pythagoras theory and now an next one is fourth one when they have some angle when they have some angle clear then we can write VAB is equals to under root of VA square plus VB square minus 2VA VB cos theta here angle is 90 in case of angle is other than 90 we can write VAB is equals to under root of VA square plus VB square by minus 2VA VB cos theta that is the formula you have to use clear and next thing here for example when a and b both are moving the same speed so fourth one fourth point what it is fourth is the what nothing but here vab is equals to under root of va square plus vb square minus 2 va vb cos theta clear and fifth one is when both velocities are in the same direction and both are equal for example it is va and is vb when both vehicles are having same velocities and they are moving in same direction then obviously what do we have when same direction what formula va minus vb so for example we are saying now here 120 meter per second and this also 120 meter per second then relative velocity is zero what is relative velocity is zero so these are the points how to remember regarding the relative velocity clear children now we are going to discuss some problems based on the same concept clear let's go for that look here one problem is there a man a moves due east with velocity of 6 meter per second and another man b moves in 30 degrees in north 30 degrees e with 6 meter per second find the velocity of b with respect of a there are two persons one is man a and man b man a is moves which direction in due east and man b moves in north 30 degrees with the east with velocity 6, 6 meter per second then find the velocity of b with respect to a so that is the we have to find out here now there are two methods to find out the relative velocity of b with respect of a so we will discuss two among these two which one is can you can feel easy they can follow that one the first one is what you are saying here man a is moving along the so what do we know directions it's north east south and this is the west one man a is moving with velocity of speed 6 meter per second along the what east direction so along the nothing but x axis so that is what i and now it is north clear and he was making some angle how much it is 30 degrees northeast so and obviously it is total 90 and now it is 60 degrees so i am going to take velocity is what 6 meter per second now it is vx and this is vy so it is what vb velocity of person b and this is what velocity of person a along the x axis so along the east direction clear now in this case we can write what is first thing is velocity of person a is how much 6 meter per second along the east 6 i and now velocity of person b or man b that is what simply here vx i plus vy z vx means what already here v cos theta 
I V sin theta J V cos theta what is V cos theta here theta is what 6 degrees so V is 6 so 6 6 meter per second 6 cos 60 degrees I plus 6 sin 60 degrees into J then obviously here V B is equals to what in this case here 6 into cos 60 is what 1 by 2 i plus 6 of sin 60 root 3 by 2 j then obviously here vb is what 2 ones are 2 threes are 3 i plus 2 ones are 2 threes are 3 root 3 j so now this is the velocity of b and this is the velocity of a now what you would find out velocity of b with respect to a uh, what are you saying? Find the velocity of B with respect to A. Then what is VB minus VA we can write. What is VB here? This one. 3I plus 3 root 3J minus VA. V is what? 6I minus 6I. 3I minus 6I. That is what? Minus 3I plus 3 root 3J. So that is what relative velocity is simply here. VBA is equals what? Minus 3i I plus 3 root 3j. And now in this case, we can write like this also. VBA, it is minus i and it is plus j. So that is maybe in second quadrant, minus and plus of VBA is nothing but what we write under root of minus 3 whole square plus 3 root 3 whole square clear then mod of VBA is equals to here what right here 9 plus 9 of 3 so that is what 9 plus 27 that is what 36 that is what 6 meter per second so the radial is also 6 meter per second. So if you want to find out the angle, simply watered here, tan formula it is the coefficient of j by coefficient of i. What is coefficient of j here? Tan alpha is equals to 3 root 3. 3 root 3 by 3. What is this? It is what here simply. Um, sorry, this is what minus 3 coefficient of j is what 3 root 3 and coefficient of i is what minus 3 then what read right here this is equal to 3 cancel minus root 3 that implies tan minus root 3 means what tan minus 60 degrees tan 60 or tan alpha tan alpha is equal to what here tan alpha is equal to minus 60 then alpha is equal to what minus 60 so in this way we will find out this one so instead of that you can directly you can use the formula to find out the, this is the step one or procedure one if you want to note the core notes just pause the video and write the notes clear and now there is simple method to find out the relative velocity for the same problem not doing all these things simply here we have one procedure is there what it is V B A is equal to formula V A square plus V B square minus 2 V A to V B cos theta. Clear. Obviously here we discuss what it is when we have perpendicular like this simply what V is equal to V A square plus V B square when theta is equal to 90 degrees. Other than that, we have formula is what? V A square plus V B square minus 2 V A V B cos theta. So for this, for what we discussed, this is the angle of this 60 degrees. Then V B A is equals to here now. V A means what? 6 square plus V B also 6 square minus 2 of 6, 6 of cos 60. Then obviously here 36 plus 36 minus 2 into 36 of 1 by 2 to do cancel so then what you have 36 plus 36 minus 36 these two are cancelled then what you have 36 that is what 6 meter per second 
so you can use this formula also you can will get the relative velocity clear a police van moving and highway with a speed of 30 km per hour first fire say bullet at a thief car which is speeding away in the same direction with a speed of 190 km per hour if the muzzle speed of the bullet is 150 meter per second find the speed of the bullet find the speed of the bullet with respect to the thief's car so what he was given actually so this is the one police car that should be moving it what with the what velocity so 30 km per hour 30 velocity of the police car that is what 30 km per hour hour and thief car is moving with the speed of 190 km per hour it was going very fastly 190 km per hour so that is what velocity of thief car and now a police who is in the this car police car he was fires one bullet so he can fire the bullet and that should be moving the speed of 150 meter per second 150 meter per second that is the velocity of the bullet with respect to the police car this is what velocity of bullet with respect to a police car so this is the situation but what you have to find out actually we want to find out the velocity of board velocity of bullet with respect to the thief's car vbt we have to find out so vb minus vt vb minus vt so already we have vt value is that that is what 190 km per hour but vb is not available for that we are having the one condition for relative velocity that is what velocity of bullet with respect to the police car that should be written as vb minus vp already we discussed both are in same direction that's why we can use minus from that vb means what here or VB is equals to what? VBP plus VP. That is the thing we have to remember. So already what he was given? VBP is what? So VB is equals to VBP. 150 meter per second. We have to convert into the kilometer per hour. Like this. 150 into 18 by 5. Plus velocity of police car. What it is velocity of police car? How much it is there? As 30 km per hour. 30 km per hour. So now 5 ones are 5 threes are S. So then VB is equals to what here now? Simply 55 40 plus 30. So that is what? 570 km per hour. 570 km per hour then simply here now we can write vbt is equals to vb value is what 570 minus vt 190 so 570 190 so that is what 380 so we this word is 380 kilometer for 380 kilometer per hour so this is the velocity of bullet with respect to the thieves car this is the one of the most 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 important model while any two vehicles if they are moving in same direction and in opposite directions when they are separated by some distance then the question will be asked like this how much time time taken to cross the another vehicle how much relative velocity among these two and what is the minimum distance between the two vehicles after some time got it when any two particular vehicles are moving in same direction or opposite direction with different velocities and when they are separated by same distance some distance and they are moving along a straight line there is possibility to ask the some questions how much time taken to cross the one vehicle to another and after some time how much minimum distance between these two this type of question will be asked so for this the relative velocity concept is very easy to solve that that kind of an example already is there look here 
car A and car B start moving simultaneously in the same direction along the line joining them. Car A moves with a constant acceleration A 4 meter per second squared while car B moves with a constant velocity 1 meter per second at time t is equal to 0. Car A is 10 meters behind the car B. Find the when the car O takes car B. Clear. At time t is equal to 0, car A is 10 meters behind the car B. Find the time taken when the car A O takes car B. So car A and car B starts moving simultaneously. One car is there. This is the car B. And this is the car A. What you are saying? So this is the car A. Car A is having the acceleration 4 meter per second square. 4 meter per second square. A A. And car B is moving with speed of V is equal to 1 meter per second. And car A is 10 meters behind the car B. Distance of the separation of it is 10 meters between these two. Then what you have to find out? Find the time when the car A overtakes the car B. So in how much time the car A will crosses the car B? That is the question here. So first thing here, I am going to say U A B. Initial velocity of car A with respect to B. That is what U A minus U B. Given that initial velocity of car A is 0. And U B is moving speed of what? 1 meter per second. 1 meter per second second then u a b that is what minus 1 meter per second relative velocity of a with respect to b that is i am showing here 1 meter per second that is what u a b in the same manner now we are going to write a a b acceleration of a minus acceleration of b that is equals what acceleration of a 4 and a b what you are saying it is moving with constant velocity car b is moving with constant velocity one meter per second when it is moving with constant velocity acceleration is zero therefore a a b a a b is equals what four meter per second square four meter per second square then we have to use the formula S is equals to ut plus of at square. We have to use what is here s is 10. Here u means u a b into t plus of into a a b t square. We have to consider relative velocity. That's why here 10 is equals to u a b is what? Minus 1 into t plus of a means what here u a b is what 4 t squared then 10 is equals to minus 1 into t minus t plus 2 ones are 2 twos are 2 t squared therefore 2 t squared minus t minus 10 is equals to 0 from this equation we have to find out the t value we have to find out the t value so we have to check there is any common factor or not it is there so let's check here there is no common factor that's why by using this we can find out this one what is minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a we have to use so here it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 then a value is what here a is 2 and b is minus 1 and c is equals what minus 10 that's why here minus b what is minus of minus 1 plus r minus under root of b square what is b here minus 1 minus 1 whole square minus 4 of a 4 into a a means 2 and c is what minus 10 by 2 into a value 2 that implies what is here minus of minus 1 so 1 plus r minus under root of 1 square means what 1 plus minus of minus plus 4 into 2 8 80 by 4 clear from that what you can write 
that is equal to here 1 plus r minus and root of 81 by 4 here t is equal to 1 plus r minus 81 is what 9 by 4 so here we can take t is equal to 1 plus 9 by 4 is one thing and t is equal to 1 minus 9 by 4 here 1 plus 9 is what 10 t is equal to 2.5 10 by 4 means what okay i'm going to write here this 10 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 twos are and 2.5 and here t is equal to minus 8 by 4 that is equals what minus 2 so here we will take consider only plus values for time that's why t.5 2.5 seconds is the right answer we not consider the minus 2 seconds so here t is equal to 2.5 seconds so dear students the car a will take 2.5 seconds to cross the car b so if you want to write the notes simply pause the video and copy the notes okay if you can understand this one like share comment the video dear students so if you want to expect more videos from my channel please support my channel and if you want to write the online exams please download the app anvinay kumar basics of physics from google play store thank you for watching